And we're going to turn to Washington now, where overnight President Trump went on the attack during a freewheeling speech to Republicans. He now seems to be backtracking on everything from shutting down the border to health care, but he is also going head on after a new target. Former Vice President Joe Biden, Chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carls got the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, Cecilia. Donald Trump is looking ahead to the 2020 campaign, taking aim at the most high profile potential candidate, former Vice President Biden. At a fundraiser overnight for congressional Republicans, President Trump took aim at Joe Biden. We're going into the war with some socialist, and it looks like the only non sort of heavy socialist He's being taken care of pretty well by the socialists they got to him. <laughs> Our former vice president, he's... I was going to call him. I don't know him well. I was going to say, welcome to the world, Joe. You having a good time, Joe? That was a clear reference to allegations Biden now faces of inappropriate conduct from several women. More than a dozen women have accused Trump of sexual misconduct, but that didn't stop him from going directly at Biden. I said, General, come here, give me a kiss. I felt like Joe Biden. Yeah. But I meant it. Allegations of inappropriate behavior directed at Donald Trump span years, both right before now, and during his bid for the White House. That. The president has denied all of them. In his speech, the president also hit his signature campaign promise. But after threatening to close down the southern border last week, a sudden reversal. The president seems to have changed his mind. I really wanted to close it. But now Mexico saying, no, no, no. First time in decades. We will not let anybody get through. And they've apprehended over a thousand people today at the, at the southern border, their southern border. And they're bringing them back into their country. So the president is claiming a major change in Mexico's policy since he threatened to shut down the border just last week. But we can find no evidence of any uh, major change in the number of migrants that Mexico uh, is, is detaining over the last several days. Cecilia? Yeah, John, Mexico says they basically are doing what they've been doing. Uh, but it's not just the, port of the, the border. The president also seems to be backtracking on health care, basically backing off this plan to introduce a Republican replacement before 2020. Uh, he now says that, uh, that the Republican plan would be voted on after the election. Uh, he's saying this because uh, he would like to do it after a big electoral victory when he's reelected, when Republicans uh, re uh, win the House and retain the Senate. Uh, so no plan until after the election, the president says. John Carl at the White House for us this morning. John, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.